Welcome to Epic Gen Table Talk. School is out and summer is here. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2023. Can I get a whoop whoop? Woo -hoo! You know, we, it took us so long to get here. And you know, since some of us are going to high school, like me, I'm, I'm so proud. And mm -hmm. others are going into university and college. I think now would be the perfect time to talk about our future plans. Mm -hmm. oh. Do you guys have any ideas of what programs you're going to do in university or college? That's a good question, good question. because, because I don't. Because, no. yeah, so like, yeah. No, Sometimes no. silence speaks louder than words. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, because when when you're silent, like all the ideas are like flowing out of your you mouth. You can hear like, your I thoughts understand. more, right? Yeah. 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 Right. I understand. Like, so, no, this is this is just us trying to excuse ourselves for not actually knowing like yeah. what we're no doing. One. No one. But okay, do you guys. have like anything that you think you might go into in the future? Like you think, <laughs> like not certain. But, oh. Guys, I think Dana I has think something Dana to has say. A <laughs> Dana has no, I don't think so. Law. Mmm. Law, she flexed. Law. Law. No, I don't have muscles. Can I see that? But law. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, no, law, guys, because I don't know. I'm argumentative. Oh, same. Same. Oh, you're so she can argue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking law next year for like high school, <laughs> not, not <laughs> university. Oh, oh. I'm taking law for grade 11, and I'm so scared. I'm so it's scared okay. for law because mm -hmm. the same teacher that I'm taking for law was a teacher for high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, teacher for history. Mm -hmm. And history and me were not, we were not They're together. not besties. We were not, we're not, we were not friends. So. They're not. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking healthcare next year because I, I know for a fact that if I'm not going to be able to think of anything, <laughs> I'm definitely going to become like, Somewhere I'm gonna be somewhere in that yeah, industry, oh, yeah. no, like, but then at the same time it was just for me to see if I actually liked it or not. Mm -hmm. Just Fair like, cause you know, so yeah. Like, but still, I have a great feeling it'll be my last. <laughs> like, last yeah. If all comes to worst, if just, all comes to worst, yes. but like I have thought about law at once. Mm -hmm. Wait, and speaking then, of like last options, what's your first option? Like, what would like dream <laughs> job? I dream, <gasps> dream job. Okay, <gasps> if everything works out, okay, dream job. No clue. Guys, no, clue. no like, guys, like, guys, fantasy. Guys, like, <laughs> like, like, what, like, what would like you like to be famous? You say? What would like, seven I told myself you I'd say? be a fashion designer when I was like, oh, seven. I can see that. And what it's hard to design. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. that's oh, all right. You want to get? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 What about you? Oh, well, when I was young, I always hated school. Before, I hated school before. So I was like, I'm gonna be a singer through and through, because you don't have to learn anything when you're singing. You're just singing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Oh, it's a lot more than yeah. that. Yeah, it's a lot, it's more, a lot more than that. So now, it's a lot more than that. Now that I'm not seven, I can see why <laughs> some people, <laughs> some people don't want to do. I, I probably <laughs> dream job actress, guys. Okay, I, I can Miss see that for you. you. <laughs> she, she can like be in a law like drama, uh, law, law, oh. law, law, like law role. Like she could be a lawyer. Oh, in a drama. Be, there's you different can be, genres for that. There's like true crime. There's like yeah, like, I, can, I can see her. I yeah, see her. yeah. Or you could be like a lawyer for actresses. Seriously? Like there's She Hulk. Have you watched She Hulk? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not actresses, but like hulks. Oh, not hulks. Whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever they're called. Yeah. I, don't know what they're I think called. I saw a clip. I didn't watch, really watch it, but I. Know. That's okay, guys. Not a Marvel fan. Not a Marvel fan. <gasps> well, I've watched Marvel movies, but I wouldn't oh, say I'm like a dead. I, I wouldn't say I'm like oh, super yeah. dedicated. Like no. you, you know, but I watched all the Spider Man ones. I was kind of bored one day. So I decided to do research, even though I'm not even in high school yet. Yet, mm. I'm gonna be there soon. But they said there's a lot of factors that go into choosing this decision. There's like your interest, um, work experience. You wanna graduate with work experience, your high school grades, campus vibes, and of course the cost. So what do you guys think? What are you factoring into this decision? 
What are we factoring into this decision? <laughs> factor. Cost is such a big factor. Mm. Like, I don't think I'm gonna have enough money by the time I'm in like, like in college that I'm gonna have enough money to pay for the whole thing like fully. So I'm depending on scholarships. scholarships. Yeah. Yeah. Scholarships. Yeah. Yeah. That's why grades are so important, and especially right. grade 11 and 12. No, go what you're going yeah. into. <laughs> Yeah, so, I'm so scared for that because I was already struggling this year. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, and you and I are going to are in the same high school, yes, so I'm hey. like, yeah. I'll see you but, there. Yeah, you can see me. I think like the noise. biggest one for me is the location. Mm. Right. Mm. Well, like, one of it is because, like, the commute for, for, like, for me currently, because, like, my high school is a little bit far. Not mm. far, but, like, on public transit, yes, it's far. Because it takes me like an hour and 30 minutes to get home. And I'm like, Shh. I'm like on the bus, sometimes I'm like, please, I, I just need to go home. And then like sometimes the bus will be like slow or like t bus times. Like sometimes mm -hmm. I wait what like 30 minutes. Home? See, I, my school ends at 2.40. Sometimes I get home at like 4.30 or I, like sometimes maybe near 5. Oh my God. Oh, so location God. plays a big part. I want to make sure that I'm not so far from the school I want to take. But then I also have yeah. to make sure that it's a good one at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, of course. But yeah, I definitely want to take into consideration yeah. the location. Speaking of location, like one of my cousins, she is in London, Ontario, and they're like recommending a good law university there, oh. Western. They go there as well. So, so it's like maybe guys like into consideration. Do you live near Actually, London? Law. <laughs> Oh, so oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, but they're my family, so oh. so technically I could like stay there for oh. for a semester. So she lives in London. Mm. Yes. Not not UK London. Not UK London. Not UK London. Not UK London. So you know, on the topic of location, um, do you guys want to do residency in like another province or city, or do you want to stay here and commute? I'm staying here. <laughs> I'm I right want to leave. I'm I'm it's not that my city's bad, but I just oh. want to live in Toronto. Toronto is okay. I want to live in downtown Toronto specifically, because then yeah. you're near all of the shops, and you can you shop gotta, anytime you, you want. You gotta take in consideration Isn't it a little other dangerous? facts, though. Oh yeah, you gotta oh, take in consideration a little other facts. Just a little self defense oh, yeah. classes, Dana. Self defense. Guys, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. <gasps> oh my she god. Fight. No, uh, I don't think I should guard. be near you by then. I don't think. <laughs> no, 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 no fights, no fights here. No, we already have enough drama. Guys, this isn't like a safe space, guys. Guys, it's a safe space. Like we're we're we all get along. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I totally like you behind the camera. We're joking. We're joking. Yeah, guys. I totally we're joking. don't fight with you, but I'm kidding. First of all. <laughs> So is that is that all our thoughts? Is that we're good? Yeah. Yeah. Mainly, mainly, but okay. yeah I mean, but like we still have time to think. Mm -hmm. So well, well, you, you on the other hand, she has to think right now. But like, so we, here, we, can, we have a little bit more time to think. You know, we still have a lot of years to think about this, but I still think it'd be so interesting if we had another person come in to talk about how they chose their program. Don't you guys think? Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be very interesting, interesting and interesting, helpful. Yeah. And. Just so happens that we have a special guest coming in today who's done lots of exploration. So you there at Whoa. home, sit back and relax because we'll be Whoa. right back. Ooh, crazy. guest today is not a stranger to many of us, for he has hosted many Epic Generation shows. He is a graduate at the University of Ottawa and Seneca College and currently works as a content producer for Canada's number one morning show, Breakfast Television. He is also working as an audience hype producer on Canada's longest running daytime show, City Line. Please warmly welcome Noah Aquino! Woo! How's it going? Yeah. Good. Thank you. How are you? Good, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. Oh, thank you for of being course. here. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. It's good to be here, and I love the work that you girls are doing. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. No worries. We love your work. Oh, we love your work. <laughs> I try. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, no, you have such an interesting background. And actually, before the break, we were talking about programs that you could take in university mm -hmm. and college. So since you took both. Um, tell us why you took them and what do you think the difference is between university and college or any like big differences that you've noticed? So I took, so first of all, university, I went to the University of Ottawa as mentioned and 
I studied political science with a minor in theater French immersion, mm -hmm. but I never entered Uottawa for poli sci. It okay. started with theater. And it was, yeah, it wasn't until um, halfway through first semester, first year, that I switched into poli sci and in minor in theater, French immersion. So it's not always going to be the direction that you necessarily thought, which is really interesting. Right. But I, apply, I wanted to apply my poli sci degree, which is why I took two um, courses. So I did my undergrad, I got my bachelor's degree there. And there's so many different streams and paths to using political science. So the way I wanted to really pursue that was through journalism, which is why I went through Seneca College and got my journalism diploma. Now the difference between the two are, I don't want to say drastic, but there is quite a <laughs> big difference between the two. It's more theoretical for university, whereas for college, it's more practical. So it's a lot more hands-on learning. In university, I was in lectures, not to say that I wasn't in college, but at Uwadawa, I was in lectures and you know big essays and what have you. But for in Seneca, I was working with cameras in the control room and all that. Right, okay. Wow. Thank you for sharing. Okay. So earlier we were talking about um, doing a residency in another province or city. Um, how is residency? And I understand that you've actually stayed in another country. How valuable do you think living independently is? It's very valuable, uh, living independently. You learn a lot about yourself because, you know, when you're at home, you can do the dishes, you can do laundry, you can do all that. But you really put to the test when or if you move away from home, right? It's all up to you to cook, to clean, and to do your laundry and all of that. Mm -hmm. And it was no easy task, even though I did it at home. It was really up to your um, self-discipline at the end of the day. So it's really valuable to go and live independently if you can. Now, I did move away. I'm from Ajax, Ontario, and I went mm -hmm. to Ottawa. And residence was a lot of fun. I met a lot of brand new people um, from all across the country in, all, in a wide variety of programs. And it was, it was really nice to see all of, and meet all of those people there in the residence. And as mentioned, I did move far, far away. I did a semester abroad in Australia. In oh, Sydney. Wow. oh, wow. Did you like it there? I loved it. I would go back again in wondering. a heartbeat. <laughs> what the question, what about no. the, the weather? What about the critters? What's the, the weather? The critters. <laughs> the critters. <laughs> I killed kangaroos. three spiders while I was there. <laughs> what? Yeah, three spiders. They're about this big. Oh, They're about this big. Tarantulas or not? No, regular okay. size spider, regular spiders. I don't know. I'm going to call you. Well, I mean, it's regular, regular to me now. I no, scream with, I scream with this small spider. I, know. I, know. I, know. I, know. I had this one bug that like was in my bed. I remember looking inside and I ran out of my room. I slept yeah. in the couch. Oh well, oh. I don't want to scare you, but oh, no. I was in the city, which is not as bad as being in the country. But I had to kill three, three flying cockroaches. Oh. I know. I what know. Would it, wouldn't like killing the bug, like if it's a mother, what if it had eggs and like all the smaller spiders? I pray that it didn't. And I just sprayed it with <laughs> the bug spray and it was gone, thankfully. Oh. Um, but that's where I was really put to the right, test, right, moving right. to a whole other country. Cause fighting bugs. Fighting bugs. Yeah. Fighting bugs, fighting yeah. bugs oh was God. really difficult. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that was, the, that was the real test. And if you are planning on you know, going to university, I highly recommend to do your campus tours. Um, if that's your path for post-secondary, because that's where you really get a feel of your school and the community. Okay. Mm. And also, I know you're very active in the community, and you've done various types of work, including being a tour guide at the Parliament. Yes. Which I may say, like, I didn't even know you could tour the Parliament. Oh, yeah. So how did you balance your work and your studies? And how do you think these experiences play a part in your career now? So it's very much, again, the self-discipline and the time management was really the biggest thing. I worked two jobs when I was in school in Ottawa. So yes, I did work as a tour guide. I gave, I gave tours of the federal parliament, so both the House of Commons and the Senate and the library. And I also gave tours of the U University of Ottawa campus. Um, so balance all of that, plus all of the work that I had to do was, was a lot. I had a very strict schedule, but I had to make sure that I was following it, but also making sure that I had time for myself. So 
it's really blocking out the times throughout your day. You don't want to live by the schedule because things fluctuate, right? Which right. is fine. Yeah. But it's very much the time management and self-discipline that really carried me through the whole way. Great, thank you. Oh, that was great to hear. Yeah. Okay, anyways, now for the extent. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it's, like, it's very interesting to hear though, yeah. that you were able to tour the parliament and also, where was it? The, the campus. Yeah, the, the campus, campus as yeah. well. But one thing that we really want to know is we know that you're on like two big Canadian shows, which is Breakfast TV and City Line. So we're kind of just wondering, how did you get the job? And also, what is your day like on the job? Like for me, I struggle with waking up early sometimes. Yeah. So do you have yeah. to wake up really early or? Yes. yes, I'm actually waking up early uh, tomorrow morning. What time? Oh. So I wake up at 3 a.m. <sighs> How many yeah. hours of sleep do you get? So I try to get the proper, you know, eight? amount of sleep. I don't get eight, but I range at about five to six if I work breakfast television. So I get up at three, oh I take God. the bus at four o'clock, and I'm in the studio by five. And I'm there the whole morning. And some days I work both shows, breakfast television, then I go straight into City Line, where I hype up, I'm one of the people that hypes up the audience, which is a lot of fun. So okay. I welcome them in, sign okay. them in, and then we do a whole spiel, and I keep them entertained during the break. So not just sitting there right. somewhat yeah. bored, they're observing the behind the scenes, which is really mm -hmm. interesting, which I'll get to very shortly. But it's really entertaining the crowd right. during the actual break. And you get to see and learn all of the um, diverse people uh, across the country that watch City Line. And you get to meet some of the viewers at Breakfast Television, too. At behind the scenes at BT, it's it's a mix. It's a lot of fun. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of fun, um, and it can be chaotic since it is a four-hour live show from six to ten a.m., which you can live stream on YouTube, by the way. Um, live stream on YouTube, yes. Live stream on YouTube. <laughs> and at the show too. And the show too. Um, but it's a lot of fun. It's very busy because there's a lot of moving parts, you know, cameras going from one part of the set to the other. You know, we're trying to set up the set for the next segment. Mm -hmm. So putting up, if it's makeup, all these okay. makeup, if it's, you know, food, making sure the food's ready. Sometimes to go down, BT borrows the City Line studio, which are on two different floors, right? So it, it's a lot of fun behind the scenes and you get to learn um, and get to know a lot of the, a lot of the cast, the honor cast that are part of um, both BT and City Line. So, yes. yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you for sharing your journey with us. Thank I mean, you. I'm sure we can agree that we learned a lot from your different choices, you yes. know. Now, our viewers don't know this, but we know that you're actually into the performing arts, and yeah. so are we. Yes. So after the break, we're actually going to do some improv and have some fun. Okay, I can't yes. wait. So we'll see how that goes after the break. with our special guest, Noah Aquino. We all know that improv is an important skill in being flexible, creative, and learning how to pivot. Noah, over here, has had many shares of improv at his work. So can you tell us how you applied improv? Yeah, so especially during the tours that I gave in Parliament and in, on campus, sometimes we, had, we always have a pre-planned route and sometimes there was a certain stop that we had no longer access to. So I had to pivot um, where I was gonna go, where I was gonna do my spiel. So that's where I learned or adapted the improv. Sometimes it was conversations on air that I'd have with um, people on breakfast television with the cast. And you know, when some things don't go to plan when I'm doing a segment live on location, you have to think about different ways right away on how you can make it work with the things that you're working with. So that's kind of how I applied improv um, in the work that I'm doing today. But did you want to try a little bit of improv? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes, I'm excited for this. Okay, so we're going to play two games because we love to have fun. <laughs> the first game is called Yes And. So I'm going to start off with a statement, the start of a story. And then one at a time, one sentence each, you're going to continue that storyline. So for example, I'm gonna to say, today we went to the park and I saw a bear. The next person will say, yes, and it gave me blueberries. 
And the next okay. person will continue on, okay? So okay. continue the storyline. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Just okay. Don't we got think this. on your feet. Ready? Is there so. any specific order? Or no. <laughs> like we just throw it in. Circle, right? Let's start with a circle. Let's start with you. Okay. okay? <laughs> that sounds great. So this <laughs> is your starting sentence, and then you continue on. Okay. Okay. There's a big spider in front of us. Yes, and it has actually 20 legs. Yes, and it doesn't make it a spider. It's a mega spider. <gasps> yes, and it's eating my leg right now. <laughs> yes, and we have no medical kit to help there. It's my turn. Okay. <laughs> yes, and I don't know how to do CPR, so I'm going to give you a tree. Yes, and actually, I'm a doctor, and I can work with trees. <gasps> Cure your leg. <laughs> yes, and but trees are endangered here right now. Oh. Yes, and you're saying I'm less important than a tree? <laughs> yes, and this, this certain tree has a fruit that if they eat, should be healed. <gasps> yes, yes, and not only that, my friends, you can get it today just for $9.99. Dial the number below and you'll get it. Yes, and we're not sponsored. <laughs> yes, and we love feeding into capitalism. Yes, oh. and the tree is called 911 emergency. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, um. and and this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and actually, this tree comes with its own telephoning services, so you can telephone using the tree. Yes, and that's not all. You can also do something spectacular with it, right? Yes, and you can put it underwater. <laughs> yes, and not only is it waterproof, it's also airproof. Air oh. <laughs> yes, and not only is it airproof, it's... Heat protectant. Wow. Heat protectant. Not only is it heat protectant, it could fly. Like the roots come out from the ground. It's insane. You should you should buy it and find it for yourself. Yes, and this is also called a oh what's it called again? <laughs> um, it's called something very interesting. Yes, and this something very interesting is only available in stores. Hear you. Very good. Yes. yes. Amazing. Amazing. So you just roll with the punches, right? <laughs> Things went wacky. You said yes. <laughs> and let's keep going. Um, but that's spectacular. Good work. Okay, so now. Spider. I know. Because we were talking about spiders earlier. We so I said. Spider to, uh, prom to, um, to advertising <laughs> to selling a tree. <laughs> and that's why I love improv. So. <laughs> The next game is similar storytelling, <laughs> but this time you are going to continue on with the scenario. Not this one, but a brand new one, but you'll get to pick the scenario. No okay. spiders. Okay. No spiders. It's all up to you. No it's Australia. all up to you. But in this case, what's going to happen is before the next person, so I'm not playing this one. Oh. Before the next person says their sentence, I'm going to throw a random word, and you have to try to incorporate it in your word in the storyline. Okay? Let's start with you. I went to the mall yesterday, and this dog ate my mom's feet. Toys. But because he had so many toys already, and he destroyed them, that just made his urge for the mom's feet even stronger. Tarantula. Yes, and this dog actually was super hungry that it saw a tarantula and ate it. Costco. And yeah, so we were passing by Costco with this, my mom, you know, moms love Costco. And this dog, it ran in and it started eating the bulk size of everything. Oh, lamppost. Yeah, and it was peeing in the lamppost while it was eating the Costco sign. Wait. Costco sign? Costco sign. The bulk. Delicious. Costco you know what yeah, The uh, bulk. <laughs> red. Red. And you know, um, Costco's logo is red, right? And you see the dog, it, the anger is driving him because of the red color, and it just couldn't help but to attack more innocent bygoers. This is not sponsored by Costco, <laughs> by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. It's not sponsored. Oh, yeah, and um, these bystanders were actually um, part of a TV show that's on, in green screen. Yeah, bus.
Yeah, so because they were on the green screen, we could put anything on the green screen. So we decided to take a bus and we drove the dog and we filmed, you know, what are those movies called with the giant dinosaur things? Uh, Godzilla. Atlanta. And Godzilla brought me and my mom and my dog to Atlanta. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stars. Yes, and in Atlanta, we finally settled there. You know, the, 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 the night is coming. The stars came up in the moon. It was so beautiful, and suddenly everything was calm. Monster. Everything was so calm until I saw this monster arise from the waters behind me, and I started screaming so loud. Okay, this is the last sentence. Are you ready? No pressure. Your word is love. <laughs> this monster came out. He started talking to me. He said... I love you. We started. I can't say this, guys. This is family TV. Oh, oh my God. God. We high five, guys. We high five. Oh, oh, yeah. The forbidden. We high five. Oh, so we're playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> the forbidden game of rock, 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 rock. Oh, my goodness. Well, oh. thank you so much for having me again today. That's the game. Yes. I hope you learned a little bit something today. Yes, we did. Yes. It was thank so, you. So, so much fun. fun. Yeah, yeah it was so much fun. And it really took us out of our comfort zone. Like, we had to, like, Again, like what you said, we had to like work with what we had. We had to throw stuff out there. So thank you again for being on the show and bringing your positive energy onto yeah, the show. We love that energy. We love that energy yeah. here. And to our viewers, we hope that you learned something new here today. And good luck on your school exploration. And we will see you guys on the next episode of Table Talk. See you. See you. Bye. Bye.